morning. Not necessarily great after Super Bowl. That was quite a game last night. Not what we probably expected locally. But welcome to uh, hearing our blight elimination program uh, update. And let me do a quick introduction of who's on stage with me. We have Senator Earlene Rogers, Senator uh, Jim Merrick, we have uh, Representative Justin Moed and Representative Alan Morrison. And then from IHCDA, we have the director, uh, Jake Seid, and Rihanna, Rihanna Binder and Mark Nealon. And you'll get to hear from each. But let me just talk about uh, where, from where did this project come? You know, Indiana has uh, a challenging housing situation. There are blighted and abandoned homes negatively impacting our neighborhoods across the state. And you know what that does? It reduces the property values, it increases crime, and it drains valuable municipality resources. In fact, you probably know that Indiana has the highest percentage of abandoned or closed homes in the country. We heard in our 92 county listen and learn tour, we heard from communities large and small the challenges mayors and counties were having dealing with blighted homes. And many Indiana communities lack the resources to deal with these in an effective way. The good news is today we're going to provide a program that will help significantly. Our U.S. Department of Treasury has approved Indiana's use of $75 million in Indiana's hardest hit fund to address our state's blight through a formal blight elimination program. The state of Indiana through IHCDA will use a portion of those $220 million of hardest hit funds to demolish blighted and abandoned homes that what we call really are worst of the worst. The partnership between IHCDA and Indiana municipalities will allow communities to demolish approved blighted properties and offer a variety of end uses for the newly cleared properties, including green space and redevelopment. The first funding division application period begins right now, February 2014. Each state granted the hardest hit funds has given some flexibility in the design and to modify its program based on the needs of the state. Indiana's needs around our foreclosure prevention and light elimination. I want to say though that this program will not detract from the mission of helping struggling homeowners through foreclosure. IACDA is committed to using the majority of the hardest hit funds to help individual homeowners 